What is up guys, it's SS it's Modern Warfare here, GamerTab Andrew Chicken, and welcome back to another episode of Hardware Tutorial. So the first tutorial on the Xbox One. In this tutorial we're going to be opening up an Xbox One controller. Now I was wanting to just do one video on how to change the LED, so we can actually swap that white LED out with any other colour that we want. And that was going to be the video, but unfortunately this controller took me far too long to open that I can't really do that all in one video, opening the controller and changing out the LED. So in this video, we're gonna be opening up the controller and then in the next hardware tutorial episode, we will swap out the LED for another color. So first things first, we've got to get this controller opened up. So first thing, take out the back plate, take out the batteries, and then we've got to take these little panels off. So the screws are underneath the panels um, so what we're going to have to do first of all is grab a screwdriver, preferably a flathead screwdriver or maybe a butter knife or something like that might work as well. And stick, stick it down here and then lift it up. You hear the click sound, that's the clip coming off at the top. And then just try and hold it in with your fingers and then we'll get the knife, uh, not the knife, or a knife would do as well. Get the flathead screwdriver in lift up and then just work your way down lifting up now if you have some kind of plastic prying tool um, I'm not sure where you get you, you can get them on eBay I recommend those because they will not damage the plastic of the controller um, but if you're using any metal piece like a knife or a screwdriver you are going to potentially damage them just a little bit you know just little marks and stuff you won't break the clips it's just you'll maybe have a few little marks on the plastic um, which a lot of people don't like so you know try and use plastic prying tools if you have them if not I don't really care about it so I'm just using metal uh, screwdriver so just work your way down with the screwdriver as far as you can go and then just leave the screwdriver in just to keep that opened up there and then move around to the other side get another screwdriver or knife where is it here we go and then work on this side. So we stick the screwdriver in here, or further, try and go further down so you can get at the other clips. And that's the other clips pried open there. And then once you've done that and you've got pretty much it open, what you can do, just grab your hand over the plate. Once you have enough of the clips open that you can get a firm grip, get your fingers in underneath and then just pull up and it will come off and you won't break any of the clips they are quite strong clips you don't really have to worry too much about that and you have that open and we do the exact same thing on the other side so I'll probably just skip ahead on the other side because again exactly the same thing you can see I lift it up there hold that open and then move to these points here Okay, so we got those plates off now. So now that we have done that, we actually have access to the screws. And these screws are security Torx, Torx or Torex, I don't, people get on at me for pronouncing it wrong. Um, Torx, Torex, whatever you call it, screws. Um, and they are security screws, so you need the little hole in the middle of the screwdriver. Now, again, I don't have that, and really it's not necessary. Just get a flathead screwdriver that's small enough to fit into the screws and unscrew it. Now, what you can do, so I've actually broken the security bit off these screws, all of them apart from one so that I can show you. So this one here has the security bit in the middle. So if you get a flathead screwdriver small enough to go in between the security bit and the other side of the screw, start turning it and you will be able to take the screw out with a flathead screwdriver. And if you do it gently enough you won't damage the security bit in the middle. So like that with a flathead screwdriver I'm able to take out 
the security torx screw and it's a bit awkward to, to get out of that little plastic housing for it so I'm just going to grab it with a pair of scissors and pull it out and we have the screw so yeah that's one way of doing it that's my recommendation just get a small flathead screwdriver and you can get in there and take the security bit out and the other thing that you can do with it if you do have a normal Torx screw driver that is the right size for them but you don't have the security bit in the middle then just get a small flathead screwdriver stick it into the screw and just jiggle it about and it will break the security bit off the off the middle of the screw and then you can get your normal Torx screwdriver in to unscrew the screw without any issues. So if you don't have that security bit in the middle that's the way to do it. You just go ahead and get the screws out that way. Okay so now that we've done that, that is two screws out. There's two at the top, two at the bottom, the same as a 360 controller now. Uh, two at the top, two at the bottom and one underneath the sticker for the battery pack right in the middle. That's where the other one is. You just have to stick the screwdriver right through until it latches on to the screw and then just start unscrewing it and it will come out. So we're going to do that with every other screw. Like I said, I've taken, I've snapped the security bit off the middle of each of the other screws so that my normal Torx screwdriver will be able to unscrew them without any issues. So just go ahead and do that. Oh, that one came right out. Is that one going to come out? Yep. There we go. That's that one. And finally, the middle one underneath. This one's a bit awkward for me for some reason. Oh, I think we're getting it. Um, this one doesn't normally come out completely. I don't even bother trying. I just leave it loose in there, which should be fine. Like that. So once it's once all the screws are out, you're going to feel it's very, very loose. That things are going to want to come apart. Um, what you're going to want to do is just take the back plate off. And you'll be able to see kind of where the problem is with opening this kind of controller. There's two t PCBs. You got this one at the back and it's plugged into this one right here. Now the LED is on the other side of here. So um, to get access to that is going to be a bit of a problem. So in order to get to it, first thing we're going to do now, there's a lot of other screws in here too. Um, we're going to take the bumpers off. So there's a little, I'll try and zoom in maybe a little bit. So you can see this is where the bumpers are attached. So you might want to use a screwdriver to help. Okay, got to watch that. Okay, so I've taken the first one off. Try and see if I can do the second one just with my fingers, probably. No, I can't really get my fingers in there. So what we're going to do with this one, get the screwdriver and just try and lift it up like that. And it's still attached a little bit. There we go. And we can lift the bump bumper pad right off. Okay, so now we've got to take out all these other little screws. So we've got one there, one there, one there. Um, there's one there and another one there. And there's a couple of other ones that are still holding this PCB on which are underneath this PCB. Okay so now what we're going to do is take out these screws that are holding the top PCB in. So now it's really starting to fall apart. Um, okay, so now what we can do is we can separate this PCB from this one, but just by pulling it up. So pulling that up, it separates them. You can see underneath those two black slots where this one plugs into the bottom PCB. 
Okay, so here's the irritating part. Now flip this around because it gives you more, gives you slightly more room if you flip it around. Now, the sort of, I suppose, easy way to do it if you have a soldering iron is to unsolder these wires that are attaching this to the motors and to the D-pad at the front. Problem is that if you, well, if you do desolder those wires, you can just take this completely off. This whole PCB, you can just pull this right off. Um, but with the wires attached, if you're not going to desolder them, this is stuck here. So to access this bottom PCB, it's going to be a lot more awkward. And we're still going to try and do it though, we should be able to. Um, but, you know, if you're able to desolder those wires and resolder them when you put it back together, um, it will be easier to take it off. Uh, but we're we're not soldering in this video, so we're just going to try and take this apart without desoldering those wires. So we're going to go ahead and start taking out these screws that are holding the bottom PCB in place. And for me, the difficult part, the main difficult part, is actually putting this back together. Uh, when you haven't desoldered those wires, it makes it even harder than taking it apart. So I'll see if I might, if we have enough time, I'll cover putting it, putting the whole thing back together again afterwards. So move this out of the way. Get round to the other side here. Screws dropping out now. So now we need access to these screws. Okay, so now that we've got that, to take this out completely, this bottom PCB, uh, what we're going to do, there's this at the top is kind of holding it in. So if we can get some kind of screwdriver, just maybe see how I can position this, just under there perhaps, just to lift it a bit. And then we're going to push this up, try and force it out. It's going to be a bit awkward. See if I maybe come from the other, come at it from the other end, might get a better luck here. And this is looking very awkward, but there we go, pulled that right out. So <clears throat> that's it, this is this PCB exposed. So if we're going to change the LED, the LED is right there. And it looks to be just a standard 0603 LED, like the 360 controller LEDs. And that is that, so that's our PCB off. If you want to completely detach this PCB, I mean, it's exposed here. You can get at it from both sides if you just leave it here. Um, but if you want to completely take it out, then you're going to have to desolder the wires attaching the motors to the PCB. But that's it. We have it open. You ha also have access to your buttons as well. So we turn this over this way. Try and again fight with this awkward PCB to get it out of the way. You've got your buttons in here. See if we can maybe take one out. I mean if you if you hold the controller around the other way that all the buttons will fall out but if you try to change the buttons you can get access to them now. So that's it. That is how you open up an Xbox One controller. Um, so stay tuned for the next video, which will be how to swap out the LED for a different color. I think that'll look pretty awesome. And more Xbox One tutorials coming soon as well. So thank you for watching. Go ahead, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.